Hey everybody, I'm Ivonix, and this is Stories Untold. Uh, now this is a compilation of four experimental text adventures, or um, to be more specific, horror text adventures. It's from No Code, who are the, the folks who did The House Abandoned, which is obviously first on the list here, which uh, you may, may or may not know I played back in September last year, and it was an amazing little horror game, so I was pretty excited to hear that they've, uh, come out with three more that I'm guessing are kind of in the same style as the House Abandoned. Um, and thank you to a fellow YouTuber, some guy, for actually pointing out that this came out on Steam today, because otherwise I might have not noticed it for who knows how long. Um, anyway, so it, apparently the House Abandoned was remastered for this game, but I don't know if anything else about it, like other than graphically, was actually changed, or, you know, sound, what, audio, whatever. Um, but it looks like I have to play through it again first to get to the subsequent adventures, so assuming not, there's no huge changes made to it other than um, the remastering, I'll just skip over that for uh, the purposes of this playthrough and then get on to the, the second text adventure in the story, so I'll get to that. Whew, okay, just got done going through the house abandoned again. Uh, there were some, uh, you know, some changes to the, um, like, the graphics and the audio, and, um, there, there was, like, you know, just opening credits and all that. But aside from that, I mean, the gameplay was all pretty much the same. So, now, it's on to the lab conduct. So, ooh, let's see, let's see what this new second story is gonna be like. Play. Oh boy. Press escape at any time to pause. And get help. Oh, okay, if I get stuck, I can get some help. That's good to know. <laughs> Hopefully that won't happen. Oh, okay, we, we get to we get watch the, um, the intro credits once again. <laughs> or at least I do, because you haven't seen it before. Here we are. This is subject 12198623, new session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander Leading, assisted by Dr. Williams, and in the lab itself, our volunteer, Mr. Asian. We have artifact 23 in the chamber, recovered from crash site B. At the moment, it appears inert, showing no signs of activity. Mr. Asian, Instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal, and we need you to follow them exactly. Now, some of this may be unfamiliar, so always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. Once you've calibrated equipment to match our brief, the green light will flash, allowing you to trigger the experiment. One last thing. Ensure that any equipment non-essential to the current experiment is switched off. You cannot proceed until your calibration matches ours. When you're ready, let's bring this back. Okay, that's interesting. Fascinating. So our name is Mr. Asian, and what the instructions on the instructions on the screen were I'm like follow follow instructions exactly. Um refer to the manual and um Wait for the light fr to flash green, and then turn off non-essential systems or something like that. So, experiment! Experiment 01 Internal Analysis Subject J1986, which is interesting, 1986, that's the, uh, the date that appears on the wall in the, um, the house abandoned. Mem is enclosed in solid outer layers. X-ray the artifact to determine its internal structure. Interesting. Alright, so, I'm guessing M for manual. Alright. Electromagnetic spectrum X-ray. Yes, that's what I need. And con got concentrated light laser, laser under two acoustic resonance drill press, safety instructions, and equipment layout. Uh, let's see what's under this third tab, which is probably being blocked by my face. Is a uh, help. Press keys bracketed in the top menu to move between pages. Press tab to roll over to the test chamber. 
At the chamber, use your mouse cursor to select and interact. Test chamber. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, here's the sync master. That's why I have to wait to, um... I have to wait for it to flash before I can proceed with stuff. Fascinating. Uh, alright. One, x-ray. Required apparatus, camera, monitor set to x-ray, and charge CC86 x-ray device. TV input modes. Alright, XR is x-ray. Okay, so... Need the camera, monitor, and charge the x-ray device. Everything else needs to be turned off. So, we don't need the laser. Is this the... X-ray device? There's the camera. And monitor set to x-ray. X-ray, there we go. Sync master is flashing green. We can proceed. Here we go. Boop. Okay, good work. The X-ray is coming through now. There's no visible damage to the surrounding organic material, and no signs of activity either. All output is flatlined. Womp womp. Okay, let's begin. Alright, experiment complete! Press Ender to receive new experiment task. I'm, I, I mean, it, it seems very, I mean, the, the impl obvious implication, or, you know, what, what it's obviously trying to get you to think would probably be that you're working on some kind of alien or something, but that will remain to be seen, I guess. Okay, experiment two, surface reaction attempt. Demonstrate the effects of laser light on the object. Try using a low-powered red laser to begin with. All right, concentrate light laser, laser required apparatuses, the laser 2 light generator, set wavelength, monitor set to RGB, light frequencies, red is 650. Okay, oops, uh, tab. okay, so I can turn, oh, that's, looks like it already switched off. Anyways, I think I can turn that off, and I believe I can turn the camera off. So here's the laser 2 thingamajig. I'm set to 650. Interesting. And... The monitor set to RGB. Okay, so I need... I didn't need the monitor on. Whoops. That's RGB, right? Um... Okay, uh, apparently I, the only thing I need to do is to uh, turn the camera back on, which wasn't on the list of required required instruments under the laser, so I didn't think about it. Anyway, okay, yeah, so let us proceed with the laser test. How will it respond to a red laser? Zap! That didn't look pleasant. Is that just like a heart? No reaction from first stage. Let's try a high frequency. Higher frequency. Okay, experiment complete. Green laser, okay. Uh, what was the, what was it for green laser? It was 510. Okie dokie. Let's go clear. 5, 10. There we go, sync done, and zap. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Oh boy! Let's keep going. Increase again. What? What do you want me to do this time? Complete. Blue. Blue. What was the frequency for blue? 455. Aw, oh, synced. Go. Oh, jeez, hey! Beating heart! Well, would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Why are we trying stable. to get... There's no activity registering in the core. It's possibly damaged. Let's push further. Why, why are we trying to uh, resurrect this seemingly disembodied heart? That's what I want to know. 
Okay, test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Begin with generating a 250 hertz sine wave with amplifier gain set to 1. Okay, acoustic resonance. Square sine sawtooth. Amplifier set gain signal generator. Okay, so that can get turned off. Um, on. Frequency, oh, okay. Frequency was supposed to be 20, right? Oh, 250. <laughs> All right, let's, let's crank that baby up. 250, almost there. There we go, all right, and we put that to sine wave. And this is the amp, I think. Okay, all right, yes, sync done. Oh, is that the, is that the pulse right there? 59, 61, fascinating, all right, okay. Here we go. It's not much of a response. Uh, updating the experiment now. This just feels weird. Ethically suspect. Okay, properties of the object increase frequency of to 500 hertz and amplifier gain of 5. Alright, up to 500. go! All set! Fire away! Uh oh, oh, it's like shaking. Seeing some fluctuations in activity. Yeah, it went up to 70, 73, 77 beats per minute. What about, uh, volunteers? Yeah, what about me? Okay, we're gonna push further. I'm running out of time. Let's switch around. Oh dear. Please, please do not throw me under the bus, or put me at the, uh, the mercy of some creepy alien organism. <laughs> Alright, switch to square wave, maintain current frequency, and gain. Alrighty. Whoops, whoops, wrong, wrong thing. That's what I meant to do. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> this doesn't- <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, oh no. Seeing good activity on this side, seeing definite spikes in movement. Yeah, so am I! I yep. know this might seem uncomfortable or dangerous. No. But you need to trust us and keep going. I don't know how much I'm trusting you. <laughs> okay. Test the acoustic resonance properties of the object, maintain the gain, the square frequency, bring the waveform up to. 1k. Oh boy. Oh boy. Up we go! If it'll let me. <laughs> Seems like a bad, bad idea. I couldn't possibly question my, uh, my scientific overlords. is like the, uh, what was the name of the, the ele that electroshock experiment? Where they told you you were, like, pressing buttons to zap people and they, uh, they got answers to questions wrong, but, I mean, there wasn't actually anybody hooked up to it, and people like, would just, like, keep going, even when they could hear the, you know, the supposed subject screaming in pain. Yeah. I don't remember what, <sighs> I wish I could remember what it was called, but anyway, um, yeah, so let's blast this poor thingy here and see what happens. Woo! Oh, there it went. Full activity registering. We did it. What do you mean we did it? Can I hear it? It exploded. You've made excellent progress. You're doing great. 
Now we need you to stay calm and try to relax as we go through these next steps. We're going to attempt to alleviate some of this discomfort. What discomfort? My, like, my just being like, why the fuck did I just make some weird heart explode? Why? I don't know, but apparently that's what they were trying to do. The protective casing is off. Proceed to drill the surface. Oh! The heart was the protective casing they mentioned in the beginning. Okay, wow. Alright, I, I get that now. Alright. It's the drill press. Switch the drill on for all other equipment except the camera and TV are switched off. Alrighty, yeah, let's... Let's turn this off, please. That is... Oh, obnoxious. Okay. I think everything else is off. Turn the drill on. And... Let, oh, yeah, what... It's, like, hard to see what exactly that actually is. It just looks like something in a bubble. Alright. Drill's away! Oh, no! Oh shit. Oh feel? shit. What have I done? Don't be scared. We have a situation under control. What? What's that Take thingy in there looking? And when you're ready, we'll continue. What was this thingy in there looking at me? I mean, I don't know if that's looking at me, but that light just suddenly went up. Oh my god, and everything else is dark. Make contact with the artifact. Open the chest, ta chest chamber. I don't think I want to. <laughs> safety instructions! What are the safety instructions? Use safety goggles and gloves at all times. Do not leave the container unattended during the experiment. It is extremely dangerous to handle any items within the container. Please ensure your next of kin is updated at HR. As per your agreement, follow all instructions exactly. Um, what if, what if I don't want to? Oh, can I? Alright, I can't even interact with any of the other equipment. Obviously it's supposed to be broken at this point. Okay! Wish me luck. Oh, you're a little robot thingy. Why is there a hand in there? You're doing fine. Don't be afraid. What the fuck is it? I'm sorry to have to do this, but we have to know. Have to know what? I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. Have to know have what? To Oh, why? Why is there as a needle sticking out of it? <laughs> Definitely need to put a photo sensitivity warning on this video. What's going on? My <laughs> God! Ooh. It just stabbed me in the face. You're a proxy now. You have a connection to the entity's inner core. It's like a conscious black box. All right. It can show you its memories. Look into it. <laughs> I don't you think I want to. The screen to be something that you can understand, that you can play out. Oh my God! This is so fucking creepy. New data connection ready. Do I have to look at it? Do I have to? Oh, I have to click. I have to click and hold. Okay, click and hold. Memory- oh my god, memory retrace. You wake up in the cryopod, struggling against gravity, you force yourself up. Remarkable. Impact and- navigate its memories. Use the computer. Work your way through. Here- here is where the text adventure part of this one comes in. Yeah, I was start, starting to wonder, like, wonder when that was- that, uh, aspect was gonna- come into play. Alright, you wake up in the cryopod, struggling against gravity, you force yourself up, impact into the planet's surface, has torn a hole in the ship hull, poisonous atmosphere spills into your craft, you are in grave danger, you have to get out of here. Uh, exit craft, or, nah, look around. Craft is broken beyond repair, there is wreckage all around, an airlock door is locked tight, and the computer terminal adjacent blinks. Look at terminal. 
monitor blinks demanding attention. The system looks usable. Okay. Use terminal. You tap at the screen and the airlock door sputters to life, slowly opening with a horrendous noise. The ship powers down to silence, having spent the last of the reserves. Look outside. <laughs> Memory action available. Look object not recognized. Great. Okay. Exit craft. This organ was taken from what we think was the leader. These memories are different. They're not like the others. There's more detail here. Less hazy. Lean I'm... in. See what else is high. I'm the... Yep. Squeeze through the damaged airlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. You look around to see... This is incredible. Are we getting all of this? It's describing the moment we found the ship. Mr. Asian, please continue. You look around to see you are surrounded by mangled metal. Bright light... Bright lights pour through every gap in the surrounding wreckage. Um... Crash site, smoke billows from the down ship, exterior lights flicking on and off, wreckage surrounds you. Looking upwards, you see unfamiliar star patterns. Oh, look at ship. There's no going home in this. The symbols and writing on the ship are barely visible anymore. Look at symbols. The writing shows part shows partially sh shows partially shows the name of the ship. Omnis Omnis. Culpa. These words will haunt you. Look at stars. You don't recognize any of the star patterns above you. Great. Look at wreckage. Wreckage surrounds you. Some of this metal will have to be moved in order to free yourself. Move metal. With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away enough of the wreckage for you to carefully crawl through. The lights that surround you now attack your senses. Okay. Oh, okay. Crawl through wreckage. Or maybe it's probably just gonna be exit. I don't know. Nope. Alright. Okay, look at lights. You squint at the light, trying to shield your visor lens at the same time. It is a circle of artificial light set up around you to illuminate the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people all staring. One figure steps out a silhouette and walks towards you. Look. That figure. The silhouette is bipedal and bulky. Some sort of mask covers its face. It beckons you to approach. Approach. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Approach figure. Your heart rate is elevated, but you're doing well. For what it's worth, very few of our test subjects ever make it this far. Oh boy, I'm special. Alright. Show me more! The room is silent only for the quiet hum of equipment and occasional machine beep. Your touches and yours, we are all as one. We move together in unison. That's interesting. We are in a bed, a small and artificially... In a small and artificially lit room with a single door, there is some sort of writing pinned to uh, the wall. Adjacent is a display monitor with wires. This doesn't add up. We didn't put this entity in quarantine. It expired at the crash. Whose memories are these? When did this happen? Adjacent is a display monitor with wires that drape across the room and into our chest. They have tortured us. Oh dear. Miniature. Monitor. The screen didn't give anything away. Flashing symbols and what could be numbers and rhythm. Look at 
wires. A series of wires leave the machine and run across our chest attached to different places. We aren't sure if the black fluid is going in or coming out. Collective discomfort. Get up. Stand! Look at self. Look at black fluid. The fluid looks thick and dark. We can feel a transfer, but not which direction. Get machine. Okay, I already did that. Um, let's see what the writing on the wall is. Look at writing. Stuck together are a series of flat sheets with symbols across them. Some sort of writing. I'm guessing because this is like an alien, it can't read the writing. Okay. Got door. The door in the corner looked atmospherically sealed shut. Go to the door. Alright. Seems like I, I mean, so I tried doing like get up, stand and stuff like that. It seems like I can't move from the bed. Can I sit up? Of course not. Read writing. Symbols seem to indicate we're on our body. They had to cut. We've been butchered and maimed over and over. God. That's just... <laughs> morbid. Okay. Now I try to remove wires. Oh! <laughs> what just happened? What's that alarm? There's been a disconnection in quarantine lab, you see. That's because it's, it's us now in the lab. It's obviously... yeah. Alright, we yank at the wires protruding from our chest. Together we all scream in pain. This action sets off an alarm echoing loudly down the adjacent corridor. Alright, that's fascinating. Doctor, Open door. Left lab 15. It's on the move. My god. That vision. It's not a memory. It's happening right now. It's connected Mr. to an Asian, I need you to stop what you're doing, please. Okay, yeah. So we it's like through through this this entity thing here in this monitor, we are connected to somebody else in the facility who is also connected and hooked into something. Is that some sort of <laughs> scenario within scenarios going on? Oh, what the fuck happened? Whoa! Hello, lady! Oh, this is fascinating. <laughs> Through the door, we find ourselves in an empty room with a device on the table. It looks familiar. They don't know how it works, but this host does. The door closes behind us, and a lock clamps shut. We are alone, slash together. Look at device. It was an access code terminal for a wide connection, allowing commanders to, to commandeer other hosts. Only you, I, we have access to these codes. It's time to use them. These uh, weird robotic alien guys are starting to remind me a little of, uh, of Yerks from the Animorphs series, because apparently they, they go inside and like take control of other, other beings and stuff, or something like that, and that's obviously some something along the lines of what's happening right now. So anyway, um... I'm wondering if the, the code might be 1986, because that, that's like the repeating sort of um, number that was also in the house aban abandoned. I saw earlier here, so I don't know. Okay, it was not that. Only you, I, we have these codes. It's time to use them all. Okay, um, enter code. What, what the fuck? You haven't seen that before. What is it doing? Okay. It's using the tool we recovered from the crash site. It's in our systems. It's Sending something across the network. It's broadcasting. <laughs> Mr. Asian, please. We <laughs> deeply regret what we've put you through, but please understand it was for the greater good. Sure it was! We had to know more. Rebelling now could be catastrophic. We don't know what this might do to you in the long run. Oh. Um, Alright. Arrow keys up, down, select row. Arrow keys left, right, change glyph. Oh my goodness, so what do I need to do here? What the frickin... frickin' frackin'? Okie dokie. Um, oh, 
Okay, I am back. I, uh, I had to step away from my computer for a little bit there, but, um, yeah, now I am back and ready to solve this puzzle. Now, I still have no idea what any of these symbols mean, but, um... I mean, it's like, I, can, I can't change the ones on the left-hand column. I can only change the ones on the right-hand column. Um, and obviously I'm, I'm at the point where it's like, I'm pretty sure all the, like, miniature board versions here on this, uh, the screen here don't actually mean anything, but, um... Uh, apparently Mr. Mr. Robo Alien knows. That's what it looks like. God, it's like flashing so quick that it's hard to tell. Okay, so I think, because it's like it, it was showing two symbols side by side. Yeah, wow, that's, that's difficult to look at. I'm pretty sure the first one is that. Um, okay, what was that again? Ah, God, it's hard to... I think is that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Okay. Alright, then this one I think that that's correct right there as it already is. Okay. And there we go. <laughs> Uh-oh. What? Oh! They're all free. They're converging. It's over. I just, I just let them all out. Now they're all, yep, they're, they're all coming in to say hello. Hello! Wow, there's so many of you. Were you all gathered from the same, like, crash? Hi! Are we friends now? <laughs> hey, buddy! Are you, are you just gonna kill me? Maybe? Oh. Mr. Ishin, please don't do this. We, we mean you. We mean them no harm. Please, don't do something you'll regret. Oh, I'm not regretting Wait. any of this anymore. <laughs> Wait. One day, Mr. Ishin, this will haunt you. Fascinating. Fascinating. That's cool. I want to know what happens next now. <laughs> yeah, that was, I mean, uh, d definitely not as, like, not as spooky as The House Abandoned, certainly, but, I mean, nevertheless, that was, that was really cool. That was great. I really, I, know, I liked that. I gotta say, the story really reminded me of something, like, out of the SCP series, you know, that, that kind of, that supernatural sci-fi horror with lab experiments going on of, um, questionable ethics and all, all that sort of stuff. But yeah, I, I like that. That was um, the second the second adventure in Stories Untold, the lab conduct. We'll save the station process for the next, next video. So, thanks for watching. And